Wacom's latest line of interactive pen displays provide a natural and ergonomic way for industrial designers and engineers to work in CAD programs like SolidWorks and Fusion 360. Wacom's new ProPen 3D is designed for CAD modeling and provides the same functionality as a three-button mouse, opening the door to driving CAD programs on screen for improved comfort and productivity. Working with a pen on screen is more natural and ergonomic than using a mouse and creates an immersive CAD experience as users feel more connected to their work. Wacom devices streamline the design process because they integrate with most design software programs. CAD software titles like SolidWorks recognize pen and touch as an effective way to create 3D geometry, and they continue to implement built-in pen functionality. Fusion 360 is also optimized for pen input and is an efficient and ergonomic way to use Wacom's newest technology. Getting familiar with the Wacom devices will help you dive right into the CAD software and create models with confidence. Most of Wacom's Cintiq Pro displays have built-in multi-touch capabilities and give you full on-screen control using your finger or a Wacom pen device. With these touch features in place, there are tremendous software enhancements that come from touch interactions, producing an interactive and efficient workspace. There's also a convenient digital keyboard that can be brought up on screen. Touch capabilities can be turned on or off. And the display can be moved around to the position and angle you'd like using the different Wacom ergonomic setups, such as the Wacom Flex Arm I'm using here. Speaking of pen devices, the Wacom Pro Pen 3D is a newly designed pen that optimizes the 3D experience with the Cintiq Pro displays. This pen gives you full navigational control in 2D and 3D software in most on-screen applications. There are a few primary controls that make the pen experience natural and comfortable. The tip of the pen is used for clicking on screen, which is the same function as using the left mouse button. The three buttons along the side of the pen can have their functions customized for different software titles. The default settings for 3D modeling software are generally set to Rotate for the front button, Pan for the second button, which can also be used to zoom when the button is held and the tip of the pen is dragged on screen, and Right Click for the rear button, which can also be used to activate gesture controls on screen. The third Wacom device that enriches the design experience is the Express Key Remote. This is an additional handheld device that allows users to set custom shortcuts and keystrokes in one convenient location. This provides streamlined access to the most commonly used software commands, having different commands assigned to each button per software title. For example, this key here can be assigned to activate the pen command in SOLIDWORKS, while that same button is assigned to activate the circle command in Fusion 360. However, it's important to note that any key on the keyboard can be mapped to any of the keys on the remote, enabling you to customize your workflows to your preference. While this remote is mobile and can be held in hand, it can also be conveniently held on the side of the Cintiq Pro display using built-in magnets. This frees your hands to interact directly with the display while keeping the most important commands close by, activating them in a fraction of a second. Now that you're familiar with the features of these powerful devices, let's look at how they enhance seamless modeling workflows in both SOLIDWORKS and Fusion 360. Here I have a new SOLIDWORKS assembly file open, and I'm working in a new sketch where I'll create a concept drawing. Wacom's ProPen 3D makes it extremely easy to create concept sketches with custom colors and brush stroke sizes. I can quickly switch to the pen command by pressing this button on the express key remote and start drawing with the pen. I'll draw the shape of the sprayer head, which has a mounting tab on the top. The ProPen 3D can move the model around in a variety of ways, allowing you to get it to the exact view you want without ever setting down the device. The front button will rotate the model on screen, the middle button will pan the model on screen. And if you touch the pen tip to the screen while holding that same button, you can zoom in and out. This makes it easy to get the model in the exact view you want since you have a high level of control with the ProPen 3D. I'll press this button on the Express Key remote to switch back to the front view. 
Now I want to draw a couple linkages. I'll press Escape on the remote to deselect the first drawing. Then I'll switch the color by tapping on the drop down menu under Pen. Tap to choose green and adjust the brush stroke size as needed. Now I'll draw the first linkage, which is a slot shape. And I'll draw the other linkage, which is also connected to the handle. Finally, I'll add a spring. I'll press Escape, change the color to red, and draw the spiral shape for the spring. As you can see, it's easy to draw concept sketches in SolidWorks using the Wacom devices. Commands and options are easily selected using the Express Key remote and on screen controls. Plus, having the ProPen 3D in hand is the most precise drawing device you could use. To continue into creating sketch entities, I'll show you the finished version of the concept drawing, followed by having the majority of the 3D geometry already created. Here I'm in a new sketch where I'll be creating the profile for the handle. The handle will have a custom contour to make it ergonomic and fit the user's fingers when the handle's pulled inward. This means I'll be using a custom shaped spline which can be created from the pen command. I'll activate the pen tool again from the remote, and this time I'll make sure Auto Sketch Entities is turned on. Now I'll draw the curvature of the handle, which has two bumps near the center. This converts the path to a sketch. If the path you drew doesn't automatically create a spline, you can convert it by pressing this button on the ProPen 3D to right click, then tapping on the Convert button shown here in the Context menu. The Wacom ProPen 3D gives you maximum control over the spline curvature by right clicking on the spline, then enabling Display Control Polygon. The control points can be moved around using the pen tip. This allows you to make intuitive adjustments at the tip of your fingers at the precise positions you want them. Now I'll skip ahead to have all sketch relations added to the spline. With the sketch relations added, I can quickly create the 3D geometry I'm looking for. I'll be using the loft command, which I can activate using this button on the express key remote. Now I'll rotate the model a bit, Select the bottom sketch profile, as well as the top sketch profile, and a preview is generated. Of course, I want the loft feature to follow the custom spline I drew on screen. I'll switch to the Guide Curves box and tap on the spline to select it, which immediately updates the geometry preview. Now I can press the green check, and the trigger geometry is complete. This loft feature now represents the exact geometry I'm looking for, all made possible by drawing the custom contour on screen using the ProPen 3D. These workflows really sped up the design process and gave a high degree of precision over the model geometry. Now that you've seen some of the advantages that the Wacom devices offer to SolidWorks, Let's switch over to Fusion 360 to expand the horizons of your CAD modeling experience. While you've seen how to sketch and create 3D features in SolidWorks, I want to focus on some of the best Fusion 360 features that pair well with the Wacom devices, direct editing and working with forms. This VR headset 3D model has a lot of custom geometry built into it. There are features I'd like to adjust on the fly to the size and position I'd like such as these two attachment tabs on the top of the model. Before I dive into using the direct editing capabilities, I want to show you that the model can be moved around on screen just like you saw in SolidWorks. The front button on the ProPen 3D rotates the model, the middle button pans it around, and pressing the pen tip up and down on screen while holding the middle button zooms in and out. The rear button on the pen also activates the right-click menu, which also works with the gesture controls, such as going down and to the right, to activate the Fit Point Spline command. To go into Direct Edit mode, I'll right-click on the model at the top and select Do Not Capture Design History, then press Continue. Now I can edit the model geometry directly. For example, if I switch to the right view, 
I can drag the heights of these tabs up or down to the size I'd like. To make it easy to select geometry, I can either use the standard box select tool by dragging the tip of the pen, or I can use the freeform select tool to select specific faces, edges, or vertices I want to edit. This gives you maximum control over making your selections on screen. I'll make sure I have the faces selected that I want to move, which includes both tabs in the model, then press this key on the Express Key Remote to activate the Move command. Now I can drag the arrows on screen with the pen tip to move them to the position I want. I can even reset the pivot point and drag this handle to rotate the faces. I don't actually need them rotated, so I'll move the handle back, shrink the heights of the tabs, zoom in to move the faces in smaller increments, and press OK. If I rotate the model with the pen, you can see that both tabs were adjusted, making the ProPen 3D a great tool for making direct edits to geometry on screen while maximizing the control over size and position. Forms in Fusion 360 are freeform bodies that are manipulated like modeling clay. As you can imagine, there are tons of advantages to working on form bodies using Wacom devices. For example, I want to make some contour adjustments to this soft liner that goes around the inside of the VR headset. I want to pull these faces here outward a bit so that they match the contour of the user's face. To do this, I'll enable the Edit Form command from the Form Tools, then hold this button on the Express Key Remote as the Control Key while tapping on each face to select all four. And I can drag them outward using the arrow handle. Using the pen tip to drag gives me increased control over the exact position I want. Similarly, I can rotate these faces by dragging this handle with the pen tip, and the faces move to where I'd like them. I'll press OK, and if I rotate the model, you'll see that both sides of the form body match since there was a symmetry condition added ahead of time. This made my edits quick and efficient with increased control directly at my fingertips. Wacom devices empower you to create 3D CAD models in ways you may have never considered. The Cintiq Pro Display, the ProPen 3D, and the Express Key Remote all work in tandem to speed up your design process and keep you immersed in the design process, never having to set down a device or disrupt your workflow. Whether you're working in SolidWorks and creating custom spline geometry, or manipulating the size and positions of faces in Fusion 360, you'll feel a new level of design capability kept at your fingertips. Dive in headfirst by trying out Wacom's cutting-edge devices and grab hold of your CAD models in ways you've never experienced.